Hi everybody and welcome back again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big no matter what sport you wish to bet on. If you're not already a member, please join up and you'll have this access to the VIP club section where you have all these great tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's scroll down through here as we're talking about Major League Baseball here. And there's still plenty of uh, interesting matchups in store as the playoff races are yet to be determined. So we'll go down through here. Let's take a look at the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs in the National League Central. Top two teams will battle. You see the Cardinals right now are average. They have won three out of their last six. The Cubs right now are ice cold up, but they are on a, a great trend. As you see, they are winners of uh, five out of their last six and three blowouts in there, all games scoring over uh, over 14 runs. In fact, so they are really hitting the ball well at the moment. If we take a look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that the Cubs, you see this upward trend there at plus 22. The Cardinals are down here at plus 16 on a downward trend. If you're considering betting the over and under, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You will see here that the Cardinals are playing in games trending over the red line compared to the blue line. If you look here at the Cubs, they're also playing in games trending over the red line compared to the blue line. So it's best to pick the over in games in this series. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, this will tell you how stable the two teams are. Take a look at that. You will notice here that the Cubs are the more stable team at plus 24 compared to the Cardinals at plus 9. What it means is that the Cardinals will um, perform less consistently according to their favorite underdog status compared to the Cubs, who will be more consistent in that area. If you look at the uh, pitching matchups here, um, all the scheduled stars for the Cardinals are in the green on the pitcher profit oscillator. And I'll take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator to show you what I mean. If you look at the matchup for um, this is Friday's game, Michael Waka versus Jose Quintana. You see, I had the two teams in here and the two pitchers. And you scroll down through, you'll see their uh, pitcher profit margin right now. You can see their trend, and you also see at the bottom line at the bottom here. Waka at plus 267, Quintana at minus 479. So you can see the difference at plus. 746 in favor of Waka and the Cardinals. So it's a really good tool to use. The rest of the series, actually, Dakota Hudson and Cole Hamels is the best matchup in Saturday's game. Hugh Darvish is the worst of the pitcher profit margins at minus 1,792. He goes for the Cubs on Sunday. In general, I see the Cubs winning this game. They're clearly the better of the two teams, and they're really hot at the moment. They will win the series two games to one. Go down through to another matchup. Boston and Tampa Bay. A great matchup in the American League East. Tampa Bay is second in the division right now. You can see the Red Sox currently dead stats, although they have won their last three. So they are, this, sh this should trend upward. It says dead right now. This should trend upward. Uh, Tampa Bay right now is burning hot down. They have won two out of their last three. They did come off a 6 4 loss to the Angels. If you look at the Power rankings indicator, both are on an upward trend. Tampa is at plus 23. Boston was down at plus 10, and they have jumped up to plus 16 just over the last few days. Totals predictor, again, if you're considering the over and under, this is a very good tool to use. You can see that Boston is playing in games trending well under the line, the red compared to the blue. And you can see Tampa is also playing in games trending a little bit under the line, so betting the under is a very safe play for games in this series. The volatility oscillator, which team is the most stable? You can see Tampa is clearly the more stable team. They're performing more consistently as their favorite underdog status indicates, which is probably a good indication to bet on them in this series because they will be home favorites. Let's take a look at the pitcher profit of margins. Um, as a, and you can use that tool that I showed you previously, the pitcher profit oscillator. But just uh, running down the field here, Rick Porcello is the best bet for the Red Sox on Friday at plus, four, uh, plus 1249. And Ryan Yarbrough is the best bet for Tampa on Sunday. He is barely in the green, however, at plus 81. Tampa is the hotter team. They will win the series and more solidify their playoff chances. Uh, let's go down through here to another matchup. Several great matchups here, but there's a few I want to take a look at in particular. 
And I go way down here. Here's Kansas City at Minnesota. Now, this wouldn't seem like much of a matchup because Kansas City is fourth in the, in the division. Minnesota is first. But right now, the Royals are playing better ball. See? Now, they did come off a three-game loss against uh, a three-game sweep to the Astros, but they won the two previous against uh, the White Sox, and they did win the first game against Oakland. You look at the Twins here. They are averaged down. They are 3-3 three three over their last six. You look at the power rankings indicator. It's clearly Minnesota. You, what you'd expect with the top team in the uh, division at plus 25. Kansas City is down here at plus 2. Thinking about the over and under, well, Kansas City is playing in games trending over. Minnesota is playing in games trending under. Probably better to avoid this. Maybe you'd want to go under since the Royals are trending in games a little bit farther under than Minnesota, but probably avoiding it is the best choice for games in this series. Volatility-wise, both teams are very consistently playing according to their feared underdog status, which is even more of an indication to bet Minnesota because they will be fairs in all three games. The Royals will be underdogs in all three games. Quickly taking a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, the profit margins again. Uh, surprisingly, none of the six starters are in the green as far as pitcher profit margin goes. And again, a little bit on the surprising side, the worst two starters are Jose Barrios and Martin Perez for the Twins at minus 694 and minus 642. Regardless of that fact, the Twins are a much, much stronger team. They will win this series and possibly sweep out the Royals. The Pirates and the Brewers. The Brewers are red hot at the moment. You can see burning hot. They have won five out of their last six and actually have won nine out of their last ten. The Pirates burning hot also, although this has to change after losing their last three in blowout fashion to the Cubs. So this clearly should be changing from burning hot to something trending downward. Um, the power rings indicator, you can see that the Pirates were trending slightly upward to plus nine. And the Brewers are all the way up to plus 23. Let's take a look. If you're considering the over and under, which you probably would think over, well, yeah, you see the Pirates are, are playing in games trending well over after the blowouts against the Cubs. Very high scoring games there. The Brewers are playing in games trending over as well. This is a very clear indication that we should be betting the over in games in this series. If you look at the volatility oscillator, let's see how the teams are performing according to their favorite underdog status. Milwaukee has not been very stable, so take it with a grain of salt what their favorite underdog status is. Pittsburgh is at plus 21, more stable. The Brewers, it's hard to, it's hard to see the Brewers would lose this series at home. They're on a roll. It's probably a very, very safe bet to pick the Brewers to win two out of three in this series to play in to stay in the playoff chase, and they very well could earn a playoff berth. So let's take a look at the last matchup I wanted to see here for the weekend. we got the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. The Diamondbacks are currently losers of four of their, uh, their last six, although they did beat Miami 7-5 in their last one. They are at dead status. San Diego is average, although they have lost five, uh, Five out of their last six, so this average stash is probably going to be trending downward the next time you check this. Um, the power rankings indicator, you will see both teams are clearly on a downward trend. Arizona is at plus eight. San Diego is at plus seven. Neither team playing great ball lately. Let's look at the total predictor. The over and under for games in this series. Well, Arizona is playing in games trending well under. You see the red line compared to the blue line. San Diego is playing in games trending over, but just barely over, so you might want to trend under, or you might want to avoid betting altogether on this, but do not bet the over. That would not be a very smart play at all in games in this series. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator, like I have been for all the other ones. Eh, as you see here, Pittsburgh is, or excuse me, Pittsburgh is not even on here. <laughs> excuse me. We've got San Diego. San Diego is at plus 12. Arizona is at plus 5. Relatively stable, but not extremely stable. So take that into consideration when considering over, uh, favorite and underdog. If you look at the pitcher matchups, well, 
Trevor Williams on Saturday has the best profit margin at plus 986 on the pitcher profit oscillator, but he is going up against Zach Davies, who is the best in the whole series at plus 1,733. Again, this would be the best matchup of the weekend and the worst matchup as far as uh, profit margin for the uh, excuse me, that is the wrong, the wrong starting pitchers. Excuse me. So we we're going with Arizona and San Diego. In Arizona, San Diego, Robbie Ray is at minus fourteen seventeen on Sunday. He is the worst bet for Arizona. Cal Quantrill is the worst bet for San Diego at minus seven hundred eighty three. He goes on Saturday. Eric Lauer is the best bet for the whole weekend. Pitching for the Padres on Friday, he is at plus eight eighty one. Overall, even though Arizona is playing on the road. San Diego is below 500 at home and will have a very difficult time in this series. The Diamondbacks will win two out of three. So there you have it for this weekend's matchups. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Please uh, you know, take into consideration all the uh, tools that we have here. Again, if you're not a member, please join up so you can have access to all these tools. Happy betting. Enjoy the weekend's games, and we will see you next week.